Hi, how's it going? My name is Robert Jensen. I am a lead SE for VMware in Denmark. So one of the first questions I normally get when I meet customers, traditional uh, vSphere admins, is how do we deliver Kubernetes as a service to our users? And it's actually quite easy uh, if you're running vSphere. So this video is all about that. So how do I, as vSphere admin, provide Kubernetes to my end users? Well, in this case, you uh, can see my environment here. It's running vSphere 802. And I already enabled the Tanto Kubernetes Grid service. So I won't go through that. There's a lot of uh, great documentation, blogs, etc., And it's quite easy. You just need to deploy a couple of OVF appliances. You need to set up some networks and set up a constant library. That's more or less it. So, uh, but what I want to show you is once it is set up, what does it look like? So in this case, uh, I got a new resource pool called namespaces down here. And in here, I got a couple of supervisor control planes. Um, the supervisor control planes is our bridge between the vSphere environment and the Kubernetes world. And we use it to deploy new Kubernetes clusters as well. So. Uh, so this, this is something you need to have, uh, and you can't really do anything about it. So, uh, but believe me, it's a good thing. What you also have is, if you go down here, you'll have a content library. And this content library, if we go into that, contains all the different templates. So you can subscribe to v VMware's uh, different images. And in this case, if we just go down, you see there's quite a lot. You can see there's a label next to them. This is the Kubernetes version. And this is the different versions that your Kubernetes admins can use to deploy their clusters. If we go to workload management, then let's imagine that you have a new project coming on. They want to be able to deploy a couple of Kubernetes clusters or use some Kubernetes resources. What you do as a VSF admin is you create a new namespace, you select the cluster, and in this case, we'll just call it demo and then network that they're allowed to use. Just say create. Then you wanna assign a couple of permissions. These permissions are the same as has already set up in vCenter. So if you already set up vCenter for your Active Directory, then you can use the, 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 the accounts there. In this case, I wanna have my local ones, so I'll just do local administrator and give it owner access. Then I want to set up some storage and I already defined a storage policy that they can use. So I just select that. And then as any other vSphere admin, I want to set up some limits. I don't just want to give them full access to deploy whatever they want. So I can set up some CPU, memory, storage, and even storage limits within the different storage tiers that I give them access to. In this case, I'll just leave it blank for this demo. Then I can go down and I can add VM classes. And a VM class is the template that your users can use to create their Kubernetes clusters. So the building blocks. So for example, if you as a VSF admin want to keep your nodes within or your VMs within your NUMA nodes, then you can make sure that you don't allow people to use higher uh, templates or bigger templates than what's can reside within a NUMA node. In this case, I'll just say small, uh, medium, large, and it's just best effort. And you can see there's no CPU reservation and there's no memory reservation in these. I can also create my own. So for example, if you already have supported GPUs in, in your environment, then you can even create uh, templates that include those GPUs that your Kubernetes admins can then use in their clusters. I'll just select OK. And I can also add a, a, a second constant library, but in this case, that's more or less all I need. Then you can give them a link to this uh, page. Let's just copy it in. And then let's open it here. And I don't have a valid certificate in this case, but I'll just open it here anyway. And this is the link you'll give to your Kubernetes admins. It contains all the plugins, uh, documentation, etc., that they need to be able to deploy the Kubernetes clusters, the uh, CLIs for different operating systems, etc. But let's go back. Let's look at what your vSphere environment looks like. And if you go to inventory, you can see I now got a new 
uh, new icon here that says demo, and there's nothing provisioned in it. But this kind of concludes my job as a VC admin. I can now hand this off to my Kubernetes admins, and they are now allowed to deploy Kubernetes clusters within the boundaries and the constraints that I set. Uh, and I can see them pop up in here as small VMs that I can still migrate and, and, and do maintenance stuff on. Uh, but it is a managed service, so it's not something where you are supposed to log in and do stuff. It's, uh, it's the whole cats versus cattle uh, thing. So we maintain all the deployment, etc., and you make sure that your resources are uh, on, on a stable infrastructure. I hope this made uh, sense. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually deploy these Kubernetes clusters as a Kubernetes admin. Thanks for watching.